Hey guys, let me tell you, uh, we have two FAF machines here, FAF, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Uh, one is a 7570 and the other one is a 1475. It has the same uh, type of bobbin system. Uh, so my wife uh, got a thread jammed in the uh, hook shuttle, and that's the part that turns uh, in the bobbin. After you remove the bobbin uh, itself, uh, you'll see uh, there may be a little thread in there or something. The tolerance is very tight in there as that spins, and one little thread is enough to just lock it up. So the machine wouldn't operate at all. I mean, it was just jammed. So uh, the way I did it, and this is, uh, I did it actually on this machine, but it has, this, as I mentioned, the same uh, bobbin system. This one takes a Torx, four Torx screws, uh, 25s, the T25s, remove those four screws and I'll show you where they are on this model it's the same thing except they use a flat screwdriver so you have four screws and I've already removed them and then that will um, allow the back panel to come off and then you'll see here and on this machine uh, the newer one it did take a Torx I think it's a T15 or 20 I can't remember but anyway it's the same uh, and and this here again uses a flat screwdriver a flat uh, screw so I have removed a screw here and, a, and, and one there, which allows this back piece to come off. And if you'll look over here, uh, close up, uh, here is the, uh, this part that spins here is the hook shuttle. And I had a little tiny thread lodged in here and it was enough just to stop it. So what I did, uh, I removed, uh, these, there are three screws, tiny ones, one here, one here, and one there. Remove those screws. Do be mindful that this little uh, piece comes around here and, and look at it before you take it apart so you'll know how it goes back together. But this uh, uh, rests on this part here. It's a spring-loaded thing, so when you take this off, this is going to want to drop down in there, you want to set it straight down on, uh, on, on this assembly so that it, uh, so that it will uh, be on top of that. So just get a good look, maybe take a picture of it so you'll see how it goes back together. Anyway, you have these three tiny screws. You're going to want to remove them, take this off, and then that'll give you easy access to uh, the, there, there are three little screws that have a spring on them. And that holds a little retainer on, a little semicircular retainer. You'll take those off, be careful, real careful, because they're small, and uh, set them aside. And then uh, that will allow, uh, now, now before, let me back up. So you have uh, this piece here needs to come off as well. So you have two screws. Here again, get a good look at it. You might even put a little piece of tape across here so that you can see how it goes back. But get a good look at the gap right under here. This, this part here keeps this from spinning. So this is a stationary part, and this outer part is what turns. So, um, and it has a little retainer right in there that prevents this from turning. So um, get a good look at where that the tolerance on that was, the gap here between that because this is on a it does slide up and down this part here so mark it with tape or something some way so you'll know where it goes back remove these two screws and then that'll allow you to take this off uh, it uses torques on the newer so but anyway it's the same uh, take that off and then that'll allow once you get that off then and you remove those four screws that have springs on them that'll allow that retainer to come off which will in turn allow uh, this piece to come out. So you'll take this piece out, just kind of work it out, and uh, and then you'll see what's wrong. It'll have uh, it'll have a piece of thread or something in there. Uh, just just clean it, um, and get it nice and clean, and then uh, and then just reverse it. Uh, drop it back in there, uh, and uh, you know put your the screws back in. You know the force the three screws with springs, put those on, and then uh, put this back on. Just be mindful that this goes on top. This piece here goes on top of this, not, not down inside. It goes over it like this. And then uh, put, the, put those three little uh, screws back in, 
and uh, and then just reverse the process. Put put this back in, and uh, and then your two uh, screws, and then uh, this with your four screws, and that's about all there is to it. Hope it helps.